for more such yummy videos like this please tap on the red subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon Hi there, welcome to another nutrition in Deepak's kitchen and today I am going to show you one of the healthiest and protein rich food that's Palak chicken. This dish is very healthy and it has lot of spinach in it and the chicken itself is a main source of protein which is a very healthy kind of dish and this dish has the health benefits of spinach and the taste of the chicken and let's learn how to make this Palak chicken in my style. So without further ado let's see how this is. Done. And now to make this awesome palak chicken, I have taken nearly 500 grams of chicken which has been nicely de-skinned and I have given some gashes to it so that all the masalas could seep in nice and well. For this I will add a pinch of turmeric and a small amount of rock salt, a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and give this a nice mix and we allow this mixture to marinate for a minimum of half an hour in a pot I have kept the water to boil and the water has been boiling for a while now and now I will take a one bunch of fresh spinach we'll add this we will blanch this spinach for just 30 seconds to 1 minute not more than that we just need to blanch this keep in mind we sh you should never close the lid while doing this because it will uh, take away the bright green color after 30 seconds we will take this out We'll allow this blanched spinach to cool down and we'll make a nice puree out of it. And now in a blender, I will add some cashew nuts. It's roughly about 20 cashew nuts. And we'll add a half a cup of milk and make a fine paste of this. And here I got the nice paste of cashew on the milk. And in the same blender, I will add this blanched spinach and we'll add some required amount of green chilies you can adjust according to your heat add some water if you want and make a fine paste of it and here the lush and bright green spinach paste is ready this is how it should be and now in this i have kept a pan for heat when they will add nearly a three to four tablespoons of oil and let this oil get heat and now the oil seems to be heated and we will add 2 green cardamoms, nearly a 1 inch of cinnamon stick and 4 to 5 cloves. We will add this, give this a small stir and saute until the nice aroma arises. And soon as the aroma arises, we will add the chopped garlic. And we will add the finely very finely chopped onions and cook until the onions are nicely golden brown and add a bit of salt to fasten the cooking process and look now the onions are really golden brown this is how actually I need it as it should literally dissolve in the gravy. At this time, we'll add the pre-marinated chicken and give it a nice mix. And add another teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Keep in mind that we have added already in the marination also. And give it a nice mix. Let's close the lid and cook until the chicken is 80% done. It would take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. And in the meanwhile, let's open the lid. Check the bottom. I think the bottom is sticking right a bit. For this, we'll add a half a cup of milk. And give this a nice mix.
and now let's close the lid and cook the chicken until it's 80% done in a meanwhile open the lid and check and give this a sauce a mix and, and now look the chicken is cooked for about 80% at this time we'll add nearly a 1 teaspoon of coriander powder and give this a nice mix and we'll add a half a teaspoon of garam masala powder and I will add this spinach paste don't waste this add some milk to it and add this into the mixture now, I have added some milk in this and we'll add this and now let's give this a nice mix and in a moderate flame get this to a boil and cook until the chicken is completely cooked and now the mixture has come to a boil at this stage we'll add a little bit of crushed pepper we'll turn the flame to the same and we'll add the cashew nut paste and in a moderate flame mix this real good and let this mixture Done. And now we will take some kasturi methi in a palm and crush this and give this a nice mix and allow this mixture to boil for another 5 minutes in a low heat. Remember you should never close the lid when after adding the spinach mixture. Look how bright green this gravy looks and now after a boil the gravy is nice and silky this is when we know the gravy is ready and now my favorite palak chicken is ready to taste wow look at this wow my god there are no words to express this awesome palak chicken look how green and how lush green and silky the gravy's texture is I can't wait, I'm just going to try it. Mm. <laughs> awesome. The meat is cooked so tender and the chicken is really moist. The gravy is the one of the best combination for chapatis and all sort of rotis. So this pala chicken is literally mouth watering and tastes amazingly good. Remember one thing to get the bright green effect in the gravy after adding the spinach paste You should never close the lid. This is the technique if you close the lid the chlorophylls get escaped And there is a decoloration of the dish. So it's one of the techniques you need to follow There is a beautiful balance of the spices salt and seasonings which makes this dish a beautiful Delicacy stay tuned with my channel I'm thinking to bring up a new season for all the vegetarian viewers of that. So I'm going to start a new season for them. We are bringing, we are going to bring lots of sweets, desserts, and breakfast foods that to vegetarian. So stay tuned. If you like my work, then please do share and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click that bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll meet you in next session with another yummy recipe. Till then, this is your host and those Deepak Shachia. Signing off and Jai. Subscribe to my channel, it's completely free and don't forget to press the bell icon for regular updates.